Oh, I murdered in Windsor, and I was kidnapped from Buckingham Palace in 41 and brought to uh, Moulton, Alabama, Lawrence County, I then dropped off in a pigsty, what amounted to be a pigsty, really, and the abuse was so horrific to me over the years. The point I wanted to make uh, today, I put all this on YouTube and Facebook, uh, and I've been telling about mind control murder since before, really before 1970. I didn't know the mechanism used. Um, Don Victoria the second little heir to the British crown. My uncle George helped take down my father illegally. It was a force to take down. Um, my father, King Edward the Eighth. I was trying to go back to there was a connection to the. Uh, now I'm going to get off on trying to remember the name and I can't. Uh, anyway, uh, excuse me. I'll go back to my father's King Edward the Eighth, and um, I'm going to have to redo this. I'm trying to think of the guy that was on the, uh, on the, okay, I can't remember that. Anyway, my father's King Edward the Eighth, and history would tell you that he married this American spy. She was a slut, uh, Wallace Warfield Simpson. A double married Wallace Simpson, and they became the Duke and Duchess of Windsor and stole my father's identity. My father was married to Claudia Ruth O'Keefe of Madison, Wisconsin, Irish, Catholic, American, sister to artist Georgia O'Keefe. So the whole thing about my dad has been nothing but lies upon lies, and a 99-year seal put on his forced takedown and my kidnapping, and I am the legal heir. There were papers drawn up, and all this has a seal on it. And my uncle George the sixth illegal, Elizabeth's father, and she's continued with it, partnered with the Kennedys. Joe Kennedy was ambassador appointed by President Roosevelt. These are members of the Illuminati, the Freemason, the New World Order, that kidnapped me, that orchestrated it. They took down Tsar Nicholas. And Anastasia was really Anastasia next door to me here. She was in Charlottesville in the Blue Ridge Mental Health Builder. And yes, it was Anastasia. But uh, all of this takedown and the global government is in place now. What I wanted to get back to is um, none of this is legal. After my kidnapping, it doesn't have my father's signature. It doesn't have mine. It's all illegal, uh, these treaties that allowed the United States to put its um, military all over Great Britain and hold Great Britain hostage and me hostage, the monarch. And Elizabeth and her father are traitors. They should be tried for war crimes. Now then, I want to get to this. Um, I don't know. I can't put it all down. I'm, I, I don't have someone helping me. My eyesight has gotten bad, and besides that, I don't know what's wrong. Gun wrong <laughs> with my uh, machine here. Anyway, it's not funny. I was watching. Um, it's a response to what's been done to me. How people have responded to me. It's like kill the messenger. Kill me. They don't care that I'm. Mar they don't doubt it. They can. That I'm Margaret in Windsor, and this has happened to me. Uh, it's like ongoing. I can't get an attorney. And anyway, uh, I wanted to mention this. you got William and Kate who are using my money. And why do you think they skip over his dad, Charles, and Camilla? Okay? And they're using him, uh, William and Kate, and the baby George, who was named after, uh, by the way, my uncle George the sixth illegal who had kidnapped me and give away Great Britain. And so I'm going to get cut the chase and get to this so I can get it on the video. I want to talk about uh, yesterday uh, they were living in um, the Carlisle, which is not the most expensive that they usually live in. They're using my money. Uh, all of that that they're spending and what they've done belongs to me. I'm homeless in America like a bag lady most of the time, and the crimes committed against me are so horrific that yes the rest of the world were made aware of all of it and what really happened it wouldn't uh, I don't think they would agree at all 
But I wanted to get back to um, the New World Order, which is Obama, and they just met with William. <laughs> um, by the way, his last name is Mountbatten. Or, uh, um, it's not Windsor, all right? So, uh, but they make a, make a pretty couple if you're looking at, you like the li fairy tale life they're leaving. Most people don't care that they're criminals. Uh, and they gave away traitors to my country, Great Britain. But I want to get back to, they were shaking hands with Obama. They met with him. And they uh, shook hands with Hillary Clinton. And I've forgotten who else. Uh, but I want to go back here to Hillary Clinton. She is part of the New World Order and Bill and Chelsea and uh, Elizabeth Windsor Mountbatten, who's the illegal monarch, and Charles are members of the Illuminati, the Freemasons. They have been uh, photographed. There's been uh, so many people know it. You can't get into these meetings. And they had one up in somewhere in North Carolina, I believe it was the Clintons, and it was the New World Order, the Illuminati that they're part of. So here you've got these relatives of mine who are illegal Windsors who've been called royalty. What a word to pin on. Oh, my God. But anyway, I'm here in Roanoke being worked over, trying to tell the truth about all this, and they're up there getting all the press, which is Rockefeller. Uh, control, and that's the Illuminati, the Jews, uh, well, I hate to say it, but uh, who do you think the um, Kennedys are? They're Irish Catholic. My mother was Irish, okay, American. Um, I'm British, by the way. Don't ever. I wanted to say this. Chelsea Clinton got to go to Oxford. You know where I went? The School of Hard Knocks, and you don't know Hard Knocks until you see my life and my kids' life here in front, plain sight, in front of everybody, over and over. I want to get now to Mitchell, John Mitchell. He was a senator for Maine. And I'm not going to get all this on here. He was an American lawyer, um, and I'm not going to get it on here. He was in the service and uh, the intelligence, counterintelligence and all this, and he was a senator from Maine. But what I want to get to is Chelsea said if there was one thing she remembered and she was proud of her father doing was brokering the agreement, and they call it peace, by the way, peace agreement in Northern Ireland. And Mitchell is Catholic, by the way, and he was chancellor there at the Queen's College. <laughs> um, but you have to Google it yourself. He was majority leader in all this. Um, and I'm trying to go on, but anyway, he went to... Uh, uh, Clinton sent him over to Ireland to deal with IRA. Who do you think backed the IRA when they were bombing the UK, the United Kingdom? Uh, God knows what the UK, the citizens there, have gone through. I'm talking about the real citizens. At the hands of this false monarch who's a traitor in the United States. Best friends and their close relationship, that's me. They kid you kidnap me, America, and you, with part of my family and the New World Order helping. That's your close relationship across the bond. I'm a hostage, and they're a hostage. Okay, brokering the Northern Ireland Agreement. Hey, I could have uh, been sitting in on that. I'm the legal person to do so, and I can guarantee you that's not a peace agreement. That's stealing what's left of Great Britain by the United States. Um, okay, they appointed a uh, United States Special Envoy for Northern Ireland, 95 to 2001. This is Hillary and Bill Clinton, uh, and this is what Chelsea is proud of. Um, and it says here by, you have to Google it, I can't get this down. I, I'm in such bad health and everything being worked over. But uh, then you've got Special Envoy for Middle East Peace. It's taken over everything. It's, there's nothing peace about it. By President Obama, uh, since 2009 to 2011, he was a primary architect of the 1996 Mitchell Principles and the 1998 Good Friday Agreement in Northern Ireland. This is President Obama, they're saying. He was in Congress then. I was trying to make sure I'm reading it right. 